Hello and welcome to another DCME Theme Park News Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ferrari Land at Porta Ventura. So Porta Ventura uh, undergone a few names over the years. It's called Porta Ventura Resort now, as far as I remember, uh, or Porta Ventura World. Um, a fantastic theme park in Salou. Um, for me, you've got Costa Carib, the beach, uh, the water park. Um, then you've got the main park, Porta Ventura. Then a few years ago, uh, it's been open about two years now, if I remember rightly. Ferrari Land, two or three years it's been opened. Yeah, because we, we went over just after opening. And uh, yeah, Ferrari Land, a very, you know, very clean theme park. Um, not the biggest theme park in the world. But we'll talk about the rides first. Obviously the marquee ride on that park, Red Force. The 112 meters high, the tallest ride in Europe. 112 meters is about 340 feet, or is it more? And I'll tell you what, um, 180 kilometers per hour in five seconds, 112 um miles per hour that's some speed in 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 you know in a few seconds a force of 1.3 g um yeah unbelievable ride first time we walked in it was dead um I, I don't know what it is with the spanish i don't think they like paying extra for you know what what they consider part of porto ventura yeah and it is really you know it, it is a bit um you know it just seems like they're fleecing more money out of you, but hey -ho, you know, it is a good park. Um, anyway, walked up to the ride, you're walking up and there's no queue, so walk up straight on the ride. And uh, we had to take it in turns, because both me and my wife got a little of of us, so we couldn't go on separately. And uh, no anticipation, straight on, straight into the, the front of it, put these goggles on. And I'd already read about someone being hit by a bird at the speed it went up. Obviously, it ended up with a bit of blood on them. And uh, wow, those forces are something else. I mean, uh, as you're going up, you know, the F1 racing thing on the front, the roar when you're in the stands. But um, absolutely amazing. The force is just something else. Never felt anything like it, you know. Been on lots of launch coasters, but 112 miles an hour, that's some launch. Uh, that's like I said, 340 foot high, is it more? Um, I can't do my maths, because it's 3.1 feet per metre, and it's what, 112 metres. So... No, I can't work it out, I'm too tired. But, uh, yeah... Um, Unbelievable. I mean, Shambhala was the highest roller coaster in Europe, also at Porto Ventura. But yeah, um, Red Force, fantastic. Obviously, it's a one lap special, like all these are Topfield Dragster and King Dakar, them sort of uh, roller coasters. But to have something like that in Europe is amazing, you know, because we're never going to catch up with the Americans and the Japanese. And uh, I don't think planning permission will ever be granted in this country, I'm just too miserable. But uh, yeah, the top of the ride, I tell you, when you're at the top and it goes over, you're like, come on, over! And then that force as you're going down again, something else, you know, it really is an amazing roller coaster. If you're a roller coaster fan and you can bottle the, the uh, fear to go on it, you know, um, yeah, it's something else. I mean, you're strapped in well, let's put it that way. But um, yeah, it's uh, some amazing ride. Wow, the, is it LSM launch on that? Um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, nearly five minutes talking about one ride. So, next on the list, Crazy Pistons. And this was added in the second year. Uh, it wasn't there in the first year, not that I can remember. So it was in the second year it was added. Uh, a big kids family area, because that was lacking family rides in there. But you got you had a few. I mean, there's not a lot of rides in there per se as it is. But it was lacking some rides. Crazy Pistons, it's one of them where you sat in the sea and you're going around like on a piston, you know. It's alright for the kids, uh, adults, I'm not sure if the adults can ride it, but it's alright, you know. 
Then you've got the three throw towers. Uh, one's a shot tower, one's a drop tower. And, uh, you know, I'm glad they put both in. You know, it's good. It's a good thing for the park. Um, two two rides basically smack next to each of us. Um, you know, if you like drop towers and you like sh uh, sh shoot them up towers, me, I'm not the biggest fan of them. You know, they scare the bejesus out of me. Um, and it's funny, but you've got that sort of ride. When in um, Port of Ventura, you've got the 300 foot one, you know, which is absolutely blooming massive. Then you've got Junior Red Force, um, another little family roller coaster, you know, all themed in that red and yellow. Uh, good for the kids, good for adults as well to get a cred on. And then, yeah, the other thrill tower is called Bounce Back Tower. I can't remember their names, that's why I'm having to scroll them on my phone just to remember. And you've got a kiddies tower as well, so that's great for the kids, because not all kids, I mean, not all adults, want to go on the big thrill towers, you know. Little kids tower, good for, the, good for those of us who uh, are a bit more, you know, not so good. Then you've got Man Marinello Grand Race. And it's a 570 metre track. You drive in, and actually, I actually had my camera out and was filming my little and next um, in the next cart. And uh, I turned around to him, and I said, It's racing time! And uh, yeah, it, it, it's a bit like the one at Walt Disney World, you know, the little drive, the driving one, but they're obviously they're motorised. I can't remember if these were electric or not when I went. But uh, a great addition to the park. Uh, queues were a bit uh, long. But uh, yeah, another great addition, and it runs a lot better than the one at Flamingo Land. Champions Race, that's the one you sat in little cars, kiddies one, sat in little cars, and you're spinning round, you know, and all themed to Ferrari, so great little ride that is. And obviously a lot of photo opportunities at Ferrari, Ferrari Land. Um, you know, I'll talk about some more of them, but there are places where there's like a museum where you can go in and it's, it's all the cars there and you're there, you know, get your photo with them. And we got our little and sat in one and we got his photo. What did we pay for that? I think we paid for that. Pricey bleeders. Uh, flying race, another kiddies one, you know, you're not going up in a plane. Now there's two... Um, experience rides on this one similar to oh why is it you're doing a review and you can't remember one calls one's called racing legends a journey through time with ferrari and uh you're racing in different ferrari engines you know f from all different versions you know in time ah and that's it so the for the one before for, for racing legends it's okay but it's the weaker of the two of those simulation rides both worth doing but racing legends made me and my wife a bit queasy afterwards um so you sat in the car the car's rocking and you've got the cinema screen in front of you and then you change it from one type of car to another obviously you're not but the car that you know you're basically following is and you've got flying dreams um, and it's similar to Soaring, that's the one, I come out in the end, at Walt Disney World, and obviously Soaring now, you had the one where it was in, in Disneyland, and all across America, and that's across the world, and I think Disney Sea are getting an Hong Kong version, which would be great to see at, um, Disney World and, Cal you know, Disneyland, bloody hell, don't we in the Britain need a Disney, you know, we really do. We need a new year round theme park, preferably one not too pricey. But yeah, Flying Dreams, you've got to do it. One of the best experience rides on both them parks, you know, brilliant ride. Uh, junior Championship, I can't remember all about that. Let me just click on it because I'm not 100% what it was. I think that was another little racing one where you're on a track and you're going round. Um, Kids podium, so kids podium, a play area there, good little play area for the younger kids, and you know, you can sit down and uh, then you've got pole position challenge, and that, we didn't pay for this, because uh, I didn't want to pay, you know, they were already maxed out on uh, paying that, so you're sat in an F1 car, screens all around you, and they, and uh, you know, you're doing it, 
it's like being in an arcade really isn't it you know and doing it on them like where they used to have it for Daytona and all them sort of games um, additional payment ride as well which I don't agree with in parks not when you paid 50 quid to get in so they've got pit stop record as well and uh, that, that you know that that shows you in, in the real pit stop area and it says it show off your skills I didn't go on that so I can't comment on that uh, the food uh, some nice food areas in Ferrari land very clean throughout it was immensely clean and dare I say it not very not very busy at all when we went and we went when did we go oh, I can't remember when there but yeah wasn't that busy at all really uh, it was fantastically hot I know that but yeah pros for the park Red Force you know brilliant unbelievably good roller coaster um, for me Kiddies area, I think the kiddies area is actually um, sufficient now, but I think the park needs one or two more marquee rides. What better would than a racing roller coaster? Two two roller coasters racing against each other's on like a big figure of eight track. It doesn't even have to be something like Rita or Alton Towers, but uh, obviously faster theme to Ferrari, two of them at the same time um, going, uh, obviously you'd have something there to stop anything hitting, you know, the other, the other, you know, be it plastic screens or something throughout, you know, on the ride when they get too close just to stop any anything flying up, but then again, these days you don't people secure items properly anyway. and uh, have that as, as a racing coaster, a dual launch racing coaster or even a triple launch you know going around the track in a mega sized figure of eight now that'd be fantastic or even um what about a wooden hybrid coaster again that racing element you know or even a ferrari wooden coaster now that would be something wouldn't it you know unique to the world so, as a park, um, if you go into Port Aventura, you've got to go in Ferrari Land. You know, any theme park enthusiast, you want to get them credits. Is it more than a one day park? I don't think it is. I think once you've had a. I mean, we went, got on Red Force about six or seven times. And uh, it was amazing, you know. The first time, I was sh scared. Yeah. Uh, second time, I, I was a, I was a bit more. But time I've been like four, or five times, I was like, yeah, you know, really got, you know, the, the scare goes out the window, you know. And I suppose it's the same on most theme park rides, bar hero at Flamingo Land. But we won't talk about that because it's so rough. Um, the rides are all well polished, great rides. Uh, number one ride, obviously, Red Force. Number two ride, the soaring type ride. I love that. Number three, the drop towers, the shot and drop towers. Uh, number four, I actually like Marinello next on that list. It was great, you know, the, the driving round one. And then after that, sort of the kiddies ones. The kiddies coaster, probably at number six. And then the other VR, uh, the other experience, uh, probably number seven. But yeah. A great park, good potential to do much, but it needs more. So there's entertainment areas, I forgot to say about the entertainment areas. Uh, at certain times of the day, at certain times of the year, there's more entertainment. So, you know, always worth going when there's more. But obviously, like when there's more entertainment, there's more people on the park. Less chance of getting on the rides faster, you know, queue times. Um, but yeah, a great park. I mean, you could make it an half a day park, but I think for personally, it's a good day park. A water coaster on there, you know, a Ferrari themed water coaster. Now, wouldn't that be brilliant? You know, there's so many dream rides you could put on that park um, that would, uh, you know, enhance it, shall we say. So, out of five, I like Ferrari Land. Um, Obviously, I can only go when I'm going to Port Aventura, and uh, but it's a definite must-do park. Um, 
Out of five? Yeah, definitely about a 4.6, 4.7 out of five, 4.6 out of five. Um, only let down by the fact it needs more rides, more big coasters. It needs another one or two coasters to make it a viable theme park away from Porto Ventura, which is obviously a mega theme park in its own right, with lots of shows. You know, you could double or triple the space in Ferrari Land, but maybe over the years they'll do that, you know, uh, turn it into a real um, contender theme park. At the moment, it's a bit like a poor cousin of Porto Ventura, but uh, that's not to say it's not a good park, it just needs more. And that's all for this review. Um, please comment if you agree or disagree, you know, and uh, if you've not been there before, get your backside over there, you'll love it. And the great thing about Sully, we don't actually stop in Sully because it's like Skegness. And if you know Skegness, um, but if you like Sully, stop in Lepinida. Stop at um, Estevelle Park Hotel. Uh, all inclusive, don't, don't bother doing not all inclusive. You've got to do all inclusive. And see, the great thing is, I get up in the morning, have a decent breakfast. The breakfast fills you, belly's full. You get your theme, you get your bus tickets to the theme park. Um, you can buy a card, get your tickets, get you know you get a load on a card, and you get more of it for your money than you buy them singly. Don't buy a singly, waste of time, especially if you're going for a week. Obviously, buy a week's pass before you go out there, and then you can get Ferrari Land cheap when you're there, or you might get an offer beforehand. But we'd go to the theme park, do the day at the theme park, come back for about six o'clock, half six, and then get changed. Have a meal, and then you're drinking, Whee! and enjoying all the entertainment that's there. And it's a bit posher than Salute. And and it's affordable as well, which is always a good thing, because obviously we're not all flush with money. I'm certainly not. Anyway, thanks for that, and see you soon.